Over the weekend, I took some time off to look for a new backpack for myself. And while I couldn't find something that I liked, I thought it was really interesting that each bag company designed the website in a totally different way with a totally different structure. So I thought, let's go over them one by one, see what some of them did right, wrong, and what could be improved. Let's go. So let's take a look at the four companies that I was looking at over the weekend. The first one is Nomadic. I'm just going to go through quickly and scroll through the website, um, at least the, the page of the bag really quickly, and then we're going to review them. So this is Nomadic, went pretty quickly, but um, this is it. This is Peak Design. Um, so that's the page for the Peak Design. This is Bellroy. And uh, obviously, I'm not going to discuss the bags. I just want to cover the design of the page itself. So that's that. The last one is Captain and Sons. And this is the page for this design. All right. Let's start going through one by one. So a lot of them actually feature a video. So this one has a video here. This one has a video here. And this one, does this one has a video? Not sure. But videos in terms of bags are pretty helpful because they help you to see how the inside look like and what it packs. So in the Nomadics, they've actually decided to feature the video at the top, at the core uh, of the hero section. And they chose to focus on the fact that this bag raised over nine point. $2.9 million on Kickstarter. So this is kind of like, I guess you would call it an, a social proof that this is a really successful bag, I guess. Uh, those are the free, um, I guess, core value proposition, innovative features, expansion, durable. And, and most of the page actually consider, goes into just comparing the backpack and the travel pack. So it's kind of divided in the middle and you see this is the backpack and this is the travel bag, which design wise, it's, it's actually a good strategy to compare two, project, uh, two products this way and show how do they look like. But I just want to go back into the hero section and the first thing that really bothers me is there's no call to action button. There's actually no way to actually buy this bag here, um, which is weird. Check here, add to cart, you know, the, the very basic of every e-commerce website, add to cart, add to cart. This is the biggest and boldest uh, button on every screen. There's nothing here. You actually have to scroll down through the whole thing and just at the end of it, you can pick your bag and even then, you know, this is the travel backpack and this is a bundle. So it's a little bit confusing. It doesn't look like you're buying the bag because I just, I just guess because you look at different things here, this kind of looks like a little bit more of something like other projects that people liked or something like that. So the first thing about this page, it, it just looks like the accessories. It doesn't look very different. The peak your back um, versus the travel accessories don't look very different. So I think that in terms of call to action, this this homepage or, or website is pretty lacking. And I actually found it hard to say, okay, I wanna buy this. How am I actually going to buy this? So one thing to remember, always a very clear call to action. Uh, one thing that I do like about this, as I said, I like the split screen kind of like layout where they show you the difference between the normal and the travel backpack, the shared features. Um, so I like those. Um, one other thing that I liked is the reviews here at the bottom. So one thing that I was really looking at is to see reviews and you might see reviews on other websites as well and uh, maybe something like this, you can see reviews. But the problem I has with reviews here is that, you know, it's not very trustworthy when, you know, people can just put whatever reviews you want. You know, how do you know that it's actually true? Now, one thing here is that it's powered by Trustspot. So when you have something like that, which is kind of like third party hosting the reviews, I think that really helps to increase the trust of the website. So that is a really, important design elements, they put it really at the 
bottom of this uh, page. I would probably put it higher, but I still think it's important and it's good that it, they've used a third party to use this. So that was uh, the page. Not a lot of lifestyle images, which is an, another thing that I cared about, you know, when looking for a bag, you want to know that it will look good on you and you want to see a little bit of images of people using the bag. Really, it's really hard to see from this image um, versus, you know, somebody else, um, maybe here, they've actually did something very smart. We'll get to this page in a second, but they've used Instagram uh, influencers. Uh, so it's kind of like, looks like real photography of how this bag looks like on real people, which is, I think is smart. So basically this is that nomadic page and those are the things that worked or didn't work for me. Um, this one here is peak design. And obviously they do have a very clear call to action. You can customize and quickly uh, see this, quickly see the reviews from here. Um, one thing that I do find annoying, besides that it's a bit in your face, is notice that they have the mouse over interaction here. So just by moving, I'm zooming in, which is not like an amazing zoom, just a little bit of zoom, it moves. And I'm just by accident, I might've switched the image and I didn't really want to switch the image. So I think the use of hover interactions here um, was a little bit excessive. I would rather have something like here where I actually, you, you see I'm hovering here. It does not change the image. I can just click on it and then get the image that I want. Um, I think that's, that's nicer that they're not hijacking the kind of the experience. This is when I move the mouse here, it becomes a little bit excessive. So this is one thing that I did not like about the Peak Design page. Um, they are using here kind of like the logos to bring in the social trust, um, the, the social proof, just like they did here with the 9.2 million people. Um, then this page is actually pretty short. If you just scroll down, it's just one image and a lot of text. You know, I'm not actually going to read all of this. Um, but one thing that I missed on the first scroll is that this is actually, you know, a tab navigation and that you actually, when you finish, you actually have to go up and then change if you want to see more info about the spec or if you want to read a little bit of reviews. So I think this interface of actually hiding this information under a tab, I don't think that it works well. I think that a lot of people today, you know, when they're considering, they're just scrolling, they want to learn more. Scroll is, is a little bit like learn more and it works well here with the Nomadic. You can just scroll down to learn everything you know until you get to the end. Here, you know, you can't just scroll, you have to go up. And, and so I believe that most people probably won't get to spec and reviews just because they either miss this or they're scrolling down at the bottom. They can't change, you know, the view from here. So I think this, this way of hiding information is a little bit, you know, um, I think that most people won't see this and it's too shame because um, this information is probably important for you to make a decision. Also, a call to action at the end is also a pretty good idea because I'm scrolled all the way. Let's say that you've convinced me and now I'm ready to take action. There's nothing here to capture that end of the scroll. I'm convinced, let's buy. Now I have to scroll all the way to the top to add to cart. So always add to cart at the top, also add to cart at the bottom. Next one is the Bellroy um, and this one, I really like the design. This one looks a real premium just because you see the image is not um, huge in your face. It's a little bit smaller. The art direction of all the images are really, really nicely done. So it, it and the typography is set here so that it really looks premium. Um, and then even the layout here. So, you know, the images together with the layout and the typography, the whole layout here, they, they took a little bit more time to tell the story. They're not just trying to cram you in with tons of information about this. They're taking some time to tell the story with images. And as I said before, seeing how the bag actually looks like in real life on people, um, even though it's their photography, I think it's really important. Um, so this is, I think this is a really well designed page in terms of both the storytelling and in the layout and the images. Also, this kind of shows you visually what can fit inside the bag. Um, I think it's really nice. Again, really nice uh, photography. Here we have also the featured in, but it's a little bit lower. And then you might also like, so again, they're not capturing 
a call to action at the end, but they're suggesting you maybe, they're saying maybe something like, if you, you're, you went through this and you're not convinced, then maybe you would like to see something else, which is a good approach to take you to the next step or um, you know help you explore, but at least you're not finishing up in, in this kind of footer without nothing to do. At least here you're finishing up with some more ideas of something that you'd like to do. Um, so uh, Bellroy really, really liked the design of this. There's no video here though. I think a video would be nice on this uh, website as well, can be, can be helpful. The last one, Captain Sun, is also pretty, okay, again, they're hijacking my scroll to zoom in, annoying, even though here they're not, you know, they're not changing. I can just click here, but again, zoom is a, bit, a little bit annoying in my, perspective. Um, here they're kind of focusing on free shipping and in stock and uh, get 10% off. Then again, they're hiding technical details under click. So you can click this to open. This is, yeah, really like text. Um, and they're just showing you some images. As I said, they've made this partnership with Instagrammers, which I think is pretty clever. Looks authentic, even though I can't see the profile here. Um, so this is, I think, both helpful in terms of seeing how the bag looks, also kind of social proof because, oh wow, those celebrities are using it. So it's a pretty cool idea. I really like this idea. Um, again, showing you similar items if you're not into this bag and then basically that's over. That's a really, really, really short page. Does not go too much in detail as to what's going on inside the bag or all the other stuff that the other companies did take time. So I feel like this is not, they did not take the time to both tell me a story like here um, and kind of show me how this works, what's inside, the materials, the what it packs. And so I think this is just way too short and I uh, did not take the time to convince me and tell me a good story. Anyway, I think it's really interesting to see how different e-commerce platforms or websites choose different approaches to tell the story of a product. As always, there are, I'm just sharing my perspective as somebody who's looking into buying and, and wondering, you know, what works for me. As with any design review, it should be said that, you know, I have no idea who their potential customers are besides me. Maybe what I thought not work works super well, like the short page, maybe it converts much better. So. All this is just from my perspective after looking at it right now. They may have been A-B testing it. They might try different approaches. Um, it's not, I always think that it's important to give design critique in that perspective. I have no clue what's really going on. This is just how I'm seeing it and I hope it gives you consideration when you're designing a website to think about those things like structure, storytelling, call to action, hiding the crucial information. Um, so hopefully that was useful for you as a designer and I'll see you in the next video.